Hi everyone, welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. This is part eight of Mozart's Rondo alla Turca, the last part. When I first started uh, this piece, I never imagined I would do tutorials for the entire thing, but I'm glad that you guys and girls asked for it because now we have the entire piece available for you to learn to play if you want to. As I've done in the previous sections, I'm counting one, two, three, four, which is incorrect according to the rules of music, but that's okay. Um, also, if you have practiced part three, then you know that I have two versions of it. I have the original version, which Mozart wrote, which is pretty darn good. And then I made an adapted version, a slightly easier version for people who have smaller hands or if you're just not ready technically to tackle that challenging part, you do the easier version and that way you get to play the entire piece. So I did the same thing in part eight. There are a lot of similarities between part eight and part three. Um, first, I give you the performance of the original version and then the performance of the easier version and then um, the first part of the tutorial is for the original version and the second part is for the easier version. So look um, in the information box underneath this video and you can just click right through to the sections that you're looking for. Okay, so if you're ready for part eight, the last and final part of Mozart's Rondo alla Turca, keep watching. Left hand, first finger is on A, that's the one below middle C, play it twice. If you've done part three, then you already know this. Um, we do the roll up, that part, okay, so A, fifth finger, third finger on C sharp, second finger on E, and first finger on A. So remember those first three notes are just grace notes, they don't really count in um, the beats of the measure. You play that A four times, then you do that whole thing again, then you do it again. So three times total, and then before those three times we play two A's by themselves. So. Let's do it from the beginning of this section, two A's, first finger, and then the roll up. Here we go. Okay, so you already know this. Um, then we jump down, fifth finger to D, and you do the roll up. D, fifth finger, third finger on F sharp, uh, second finger on A, and first finger on D, we're going to roll up and bounce the D four times. Okay, and then you go back to the A group and do that again. Now down to E, fifth finger, third finger on G sharp, second finger on B, first finger on E, you're going to roll it up and bounce the E four times. 
So let's do it from the beginning of part one. There are chihuahuas all over the place here. So first you bounce the A two times and then you do the, the A group. That's once, twice, three times. Now you're going to go down to the D group. Just one time. Back to A and then to E. The counting. Good boy. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Okay, right hand, first finger is on C sharp. That's the one that's about an octave above middle C. And the fifth finger is on the C sharp, an octave above. Remember, an octave is eight notes. So you play those two notes together, and then you repeat the top note. Okay? Now you're going to keep those two notes, and you're going to add some notes in between. So you still have the C sharp on the bottom, second finger on E, fourth finger on A, fifth finger on C sharp. And you roll it up. So the first three notes act as grace notes. And then that top note is what lands on beat one. Okay? So let's go from the beginning of this section with counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You roll up again. One, two, Three, four, one, two, three, four. From here, fourth finger goes to D, which is up uh, from the highest note that we just played. It's the very next note up. Fourth finger on D, third on C sharp, second on B, third on C sharp. Then you repeat that whole group. D, C sharp, B, C sharp. And then you pick up and put first finger on F sharp, second finger on A, and fifth finger on D, and you play them all at once. Okay? So let's go from the D, C sharp with counting. These happen on every beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Lift, and then F sharp, A, and D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From here, fifth finger stays on D, and it's going to play a grace note. From here, fourth finger is on C sharp, third, a second finger is on A, first finger is on E, and we play all those three notes at once. So you have a grace note going into the chord. So this might be a little bit challenging technically, you'll just have to practice it slowly. Uh, one thing I can tell you is don't put a whole lot of weight into that fifth finger. Be very light on it and go directly to the chord. Notice I'm also doing a little bit of a rotation with my wrist. I'm coming forward. Uh, maybe not a rotation, a pivot might be the better word. So I'm using leverage here. You repeat that four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. From here, first finger stays on E, second finger goes to G sharp, third finger on B. Okay. And then fifth finger goes to E while the third finger lifts. If you can't hold on to these bottom notes while you play the E, that's okay. You can let them go. It's not a big deal. But if you can hold them, go for it. And the counting here is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? Let's take it from the beginning of part one. So two C sharps with counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three
Repeat it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. D. One, two, three, four. 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 So that was quite slow. When you have that handled, come back and do it a little bit faster with me. So, here we go. Two C sharps. Our tempo will be faster here. One, two, three, four. 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 Can you go faster? Let's try it. Two C sharps. One, two, three, four. 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 First finger is on A, right hand. First finger is on C sharp, and fifth finger is on C sharp, an octave higher. Here we go. Together, left hand, then right. Okay? From here, left hand does the roll up, and, and the right hand rolls up with it. So both hands have three notes to roll up, so we might as well do them together. showing off here. Um, so left hand does three note grace note and right hand does one grace note. So you just kind of fit it together so that this lands together. The left hand A and the right hand chord. So it goes. I guess it's approximately the last note of the left hand grace notes and the right hand grace note land together. But you know, by the time you do it at the performance tempo, it's really hard to tell what happens when, except that this lands together, okay? So let's just say it's gonna go like this. So that is super slow motion, uh, but that's okay. We gotta start somewhere. One. Two, now it gets a little bit easier because now the right hand is the only one playing the race. Now the left hand is just going to repeat. One, so what are we on? Three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's play this much from the roll up of um, both hands. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then the left hand rolls up. Top note lands with the right hand chord. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. So let's take it again. This time I won't talk as much. I'll just count. Okay. Left hand on A, first finger, right hand, C sharp and C sharp. One and five. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Repeat that. One, two, three, four. 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 One. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
let's go faster. One, two, three, four. 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 Okay, let's go even faster. This time I won't count. We'll just play together. I'll count us off, okay? One, two, three, four. As you can see, that's still quite a bit slower than performance tempo, uh, but when you're ready, go ahead and make it faster on your own. Left hand here is pretty much the same <laughs> as what we just played. Um, it's even in the same order. Okay, so that's very easy. I'll just show it to you one time. Starts on the A group. down to D, back to A, and then on E. So, we already know this stuff, right? Right hand, first finger on C sharp, second finger on E, fourth finger on A, fifth finger on C sharp. Where have we seen this before? We already did it in part one. Huh? Okay, that's easy twice through, and then you do this little um, figure that we already know, go to the chord, just like we did before. Now, in the first section from here we went like this, right? Well, here we're playing the same notes, but you're only going to play it once and hold it, okay? So let's do it from the beginning of this section, which is basically the same as part one, except it's easier. <laughs> we only play this once. Okay, so here we go with counting and then I'll show you the very end of this section um, and that'll be it. Easy. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Grace note. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, from here we've got one last thing to add in this part. So fourth finger is on C sharp, you're going to keep it there and that's going to become our grace note. Okay, first finger stays on E, second finger moves to G sharp, and third finger is on B. So it looks like this. Okay, and you're going to do that four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. A little bit challenging technically because of that uh, fourth finger on the grace note C sharp. But again, if you keep everything kind of loose. Also, the other thing I want to mention is uh, my fingers are touching the keys. Um, we're not letting go, so we're not, you know, we're not slapping the keys at all. You're touching the keys, and then you're just shifting the weight of your arm to where um, the notes that you want it. Uh, have go down. <laughs> it's a lot more complicated to say than to do. So you shift the weight to the notes that need to go down, okay? Slow motion looks like this. You'll notice my finger is flat. I don't recommend that, but I have small hands, and so if I were to curve my fingers, that would actually produce even more tension than is necessary. So in this case, I'm letting my fingers be flat. If your hands are bigger and you can cover the span with round fingers, you should probably aim for that. You'll have to um, gauge how it feels for yourself, okay? Hands together. This is going to be just like in the first section where both sets of grace notes um, are rolling up together. So here we go. We already know this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Grace notes happening all at once. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do this last part again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's take it from the beginning of this section and let's go faster. I won't count this time. I think you, you get the idea. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four. So now the left hand is going to do something it hasn't done yet in this piece. Uh, this figure is has a name actually, that, which I'm sure you associate with Mozart. Um, you know, for example, if you've seen that, this left hand going like that, that's called Alberti bass, A-L-B-E-R-T-I, Alberti bass. And it was done because uh, the instruments of the time that were similar to pianos but weren't like our pianos, they didn't sustain sound very well. So if you played a chord, it wouldn't last this long. It would just kind of die away, okay? Or if you were playing like a harpsichord. So in order to keep the sound going, you had to keep reiterating the notes, okay? So that's why we have this figure in um, music of that era, the classical era, because of the needs of the instrument. So we're going to do an Alberti bass, and it's going to be pretty easy because um, all you need are three notes, A, C sharp, and E, five, three, and one. So here's what you do. You play A, then E, then C sharp, then back to E. And you do it again. Counting is just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that was eight times. So by itself it can get pretty annoying, but um, as an accompaniment figure, it's very effective. Now, your fifth finger will stay on A for the next Alberti bass uh, pattern. First finger moves up to F sharp, and second finger on D, and back to F sharp. So we played this group two times. A, F sharp, D, F sharp, one more time. A, F sharp, D, F sharp, and then come back and do the A um, major one, A, C sharp, E, two more times. moves down to E, first finger stays on E where it was, second finger on B, and then back to E. So you play this one twice through, let's play this one twice. Okay, and that's it for this section. That's all the Alberti bass that we get in this particular piece. Okay, so let's take it from the beginning, remember with those uh, eight times on the A major, and then twice on the D major, two more times on the A major, and then on the E major, which is missing the G sharp. Okay, so here we go. Just play on every single beat. 
right hand, second finger on A. Then you're going to have two grace notes, first on E, second finger still on A, those are the grace notes, and then we go up to C sharp, fourth finger, so like that. If I slow it down, it looks like this. Remember, this is the important note. These are just here for decoration. So you want to be light on those. Okay? Uh, the counting from the beginning of this section goes like this. One, two, three, four. Now grace notes. One, two, three. On four, you repeat that C sharp. Then you play it, those grace notes again and go to C sharp. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Three, four, do that again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to repeat something that we played in section one and section two, which is this. Okay, remember that? D, C sharp, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp. And then you go to D and hold it. Okay, let's go from the beginning of this section with counting, starting on A, second finger. One, two, three, four. 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 Now, remember when in the first section we did this? Okay, we're doing something very similar to that here, except it's a lot easier. Fourth finger is going to be on D, which will be our grace note. And then for third finger goes on C sharp. So it goes like this. It's kind of like a bird chirping. <laughs> That's what that always reminds me of. Okay, the counting. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Second finger should be right above the B, so we're going to play it. One, two, three, four. One, two. On beat three, fifth finger goes to E. Three, four. And that's it for this part. So let's go from the beginning of part three and with counting. Second finger on A. One, two, three, four. 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 By the way, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but when you're playing those grace notes to the um, D to C sharp, you have to pick up in between each one. Uh, I guess it's possible to play without picking up, but don't do that. You want to pick up. Pick up in between every group. Left hand is going to do that Alberti bass. Okay, fun. Uh, right hand has a melody. So uh, both A's play together. Left hand completes the groove by itself. Now, before the left hand repeats that groove, the right hand has a couple of grace notes to get in. And then together. And then together. Okay, let's do that again. One. Two, three, four grace notes. One, two, three, four. Now you play those grace notes again. Same two notes. One, two, and you just hold the right hand. Three, four. One, two, three. Lift the right hand and do the grace notes again. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let me do that much without talking. Here we go.
both hands will play every single note together at the same time. So the left hand is still doing its A major um, Alberti bass, and the right hand is going to do this figure from part one. Okay? So here we go. A and D together, then C sharp and E together, B and C sharp together, C sharp and E together. And you do it again. Let's do that one more time. Now from here, it's pretty easy. The right hand plays a D with the left hand A, and then the right hand just hangs out there for a while. Okay. Left hand goes back to its A major pattern, and here's where the right hand does those grace notes. So always the grace note comes first. And then the notes land together, lift right hand, play left hand, grace note, together, lift right hand, play left hand, grace note, together, lift right hand, play left hand, grace note, together, then play left hand, lift right hand. Okay, so let's do that. Lift, 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 lift. And then... Left hand pinky moves down, right hand second finger on B. Here we go, together. Left hand by itself, right hand still holding, left hand. And then here is where the fingers land together. Okay, let's go from the beginning of this part with counting. Here we go, both A's, left hand first, uh, left hand fifth finger, right hand second finger. One, two, three, four. One, two, Section two. <laughs> so there's nothing new here. I'll just show it to you and then and let's play it together. You already know this, okay? So remember part two, you just repeat it here. I'm gonna call it part four because it comes after part three. <laughs> okay, so here we go. of the entire Rondo a la Turca. It's very exciting. So, um, left hand, we already know this stuff. It's this. <laughs> you do it uh, three times, just like that, okay? So here we go. That's one. That's two. Three. Now, on the fourth time, it's very similar, except here's how it's different. So you do the roll up, and you only play A twice. And then you roll up again, A twice. Okay? 
okay? So, like that. Then you just play the, the bottom A by itself, and then you play all four notes you've been playing all this time, you play them together, and then play them again. That right there, that's the last chord of this piece. <laughs> okay, so let's go uh, from the beginning of part five with counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Right hand is going to play first finger on A, second finger on C sharp, third finger on E, fifth finger on A. Okay, we're gonna play them all at the same time. By the way, those are the same four notes that the left hand is playing at this same exact time, except that the left hand is rolling up and the right hand is playing them all at once, like that. Okay, um, so this counting is one. Two, three, four, one, two, you lift and go to C sharp octave. Three, four. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four, start lifting. One, two, three, four, lift on four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Four lift and come back to A. This time you leave out the middle notes and just play the outside, the shell, the octave A's. One, two, three, four. Lift on one, two. This time you go up to E octave. Three, four. Okay, so the first one went to C sharp. The second one goes to E. The third one, you still come back to A. One, two, three, four. Four, lift on one, two, go back to the C sharp one. Three, four, lift. So let's do all those three. So remember, the first one is a full chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four, and then you come back to the A, one, lift on two, go to C sharp, three, lift on four, A, one, lift on two, E, three, lift on four. So we're just playing kind of with the same notes over and over, okay? Um, so this last part goes like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, Four, come back to the A octave. One, two, three, lift on four, and you're gonna play that full chord again. One, two, three, lift on four, play it again. One, two, three, four, and then you are done. <laughs> so let's play this entire part five with counting, starting with the full chord. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 You want to go faster? Let's do it. So, the chord that we just played is the same one that we start on. One, two, three, four. 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 And that's it. Left hand, right hand, both play the same notes, A, C sharp, E, A, but remember that the left hand rolls it up and the right hand plays it all at once. 
as a block chord. So um, let's do the three grace notes, and then both hands land together. Right hand holds, left hand repeats the A. The next time that the left hand repeats the A, right hand lifts and moves to C sharp, and then together. Lift and move back while you play the grace notes. There's a lot happening here, okay? So I'm going really, really slow. Left hand plays again, right hand stays. When it repeats, right hand lifts, goes to E. Here's that grace note. counting and try not to talk anything but the numbers. Here we go. One, two, mm, actually let's go a little slower. One, two, three, four. 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 Go faster. One, two, three, four. starts on C sharp and do it only once. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now fifth finger moves to G sharp. G sharp, B, E. This is also from part three, you know it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that's it, okay? So this is basically just a review, except we add two A's in the beginning. So let's do it all from the beginning of part one. One, two, three, four. 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 So, second finger is on C sharp. Here's middle C. Here's an octave above. Here's two octaves above. Take your second finger and put it on the note just to the right of that C, which is C sharp. Okay? You're going to play that C sharp. One, two, three, repeat it. Four, play it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, play it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So far we've just played that C sharp. 
So third finger is on D, you're going to play it, then go back to C sharp, first finger on B, back to C sharp, play that group again, D, C sharp, B, C sharp. The counting here is this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, then you go back to that D, play it, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to do a bunch of grace notes going to C sharp. The grace note will be D, third finger where you are, and then going to C sharp. You're going to do it four times like that. One, two, lift. Three, four, lift. One, two, lift. Three, four. Okay? Now, first finger should be on B. Play it. One, two, three, four. Four, one, two. See where fourth finger is? Right around E. We're going to play it on beat three. Three, four. Okay? Let's go from the beginning of this section. Second finger on C sharp. So we, we haven't really gone anywhere. Okay? We're just right here on these four notes. Second finger on C sharp. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. Left hand is going to play A, right hand C sharp. Here we go, together. One, two, left hand by itself, three, and then right hand, four. Okay? One, two, three, four. So you see that the right hand lifts on three so that it can come back down on the same note. Notice that you can't repeat the same note if you don't lift it. See that again? One, two, three, four. Now, left hand's going to do that roll up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Roll up again. One, two, three, four. Repeat that. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm calling those grace notes roll up because that's really what we're doing is rolling our hand, okay? This, what I'm doing right here is an exaggerated motion. Don't do that, but it's, it's just rolling up. Okay, let's go from the beginning of this part. A and C sharp. One, two, three, four. 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 Now, left hand moves down to the F sharp group, F sharp A D, and the right hand is just going to play D. One. Remember that the grace notes happen before the beat, okay? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right hand stays where it is, left hand comes back to where it started. Now we're going to play grace notes together, so it's going to go like this. That's really slow. So the right hand has one grace note, left hand has two grace notes. I think it's easy if you think about the last of the grace notes of the left hand, which is the second one, landing with the right hand grace note like this. Okay? So obviously it's not going to be that rhythm. Like that. Okay? Then left hand just going to repeat its note, but the right hand is going to do the grace note again. And one more time. So let's practice that together from the left hand roll up. Okay, let's do that group a little faster. Okay, now right hand still is staying in this same area. Left hand moves to G sharp B E. Play the grace notes, and then this 
thumbs land together, E and B. The left hand repeats the E, and then right hand on the very last one joins with its own E, like that. Let's take it from the beginning of this section, hands together, with counting. So right hand second finger, not too sharp. Left hand first finger on A. One, two, three, four. 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 Now, if you don't want to play grace notes on each time, you can just play the first one. Like that. Or don't play any grace notes at all. If the grace notes are really throwing you off, just do this. Okay, you have several options. The easiest one is no grace note in the right hand. One that's a little more challenging than that is to play just one grace note at the beginning and then no grace notes here and then if you really want to push yourself and you're capable you think that you can do it without um, causing tension in your arms or your fingers go for it okay so you have options to choose from there's not one way to do it because we're already um, modifying it so if you're going to modify it in order to make it playable for yourself you might as well you know really make it playable okay so choose one of those three levels second uh part is very similar in fact left hand is exactly the same as the first part so let's just play it one time through we already have practiced this here we go <laughs> Right hand is playing pretty much what it did before. Uh, let's see. Yeah, with a slight change at the end. So, second finger is on C sharp. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's that running section. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Back to D. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now here, again, you have the uh, options. You can play just one grace note and hold it. This time it doesn't repeat, it just holds. Or no grace notes, just do that. So if you're not playing a grace note, you play the C sharp second finger. If you are playing a grace note, third finger on D, and then to C sharp, okay? And that one holds for uh, two counts of four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From here, See what the second finger is on C-sharp? Put your third finger there. Again, you can do the grace notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's third finger playing the grace note on C-sharp, second finger on B. That would be the most challenging option. The uh, less challenging option is just, play, just to play one grace note in the beginning. One, two, and then just the B. Three, four. One, two, three, four, or you can leave out that grace note altogether and just go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? So let's go from the beginning of this section. I'll do it with the easiest version so you can see how it all fits together. Okay? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. That's the easiest way. So now here is the um, slightly more challenging way. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 
Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, you do this version. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four. So pick your level and go for it. Okay, left hand is going to do the roll up, and with the top note, we'll land with the right hand. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We already know this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. One, two, three I'm going to do the challenging version. One, we already know this from before. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here's the version that's easier than that. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, Okay, so now the left hand is going to do something it hasn't done yet in this piece. Uh, this figure is has a name actually, that, which I'm sure you associate with Mozart. Um, you know, for example, if you've seen that, this left hand going like that, that's called Alberti bass, A-L-B-E-R-T-I, Alberti bass. And it was done because uh, the instruments of the time that were similar to pianos, but weren't like our pianos, they didn't sustain sound very well. So if you played a chord, it wouldn't last this long. It would just kind of die away, okay? Or if you were playing like a harpsichord. So in order to keep the sound going, you had to keep reiterating the notes, okay? So that's why we have this figure in um, music of that era, the classical era, because of the needs of the instrument. So we're going to do an Alberti bass, and it's going to be pretty easy because um, all you need are three notes, A, C sharp, and E, five, three, and one. So here's what you do. You play A, then E, then C sharp, then back to E. And you do it again. is just one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, that was eight times. So by itself it can get pretty annoying, but um, as an accompaniment figure it's very effective. Now your fifth finger will stay on A for the next Alberti bass uh, pattern. 
first finger moves up to F sharp, and second finger on D, and back to F sharp. So we played this group two times. A, F sharp, D, F sharp, one more time. A, F sharp, D, F sharp, and then come back and do the A um, major one, A, C sharp, E, two more times. moves down to E, first finger stays on E where it was, second finger on B, and then back to E. So you play this one twice through. Let's play this one twice. Okay? And that's it for this section. That's all the Alberti bass that we get in this particular piece. Okay, so let's take it from the beginning. Remember with those uh, eight times on the A major, and then twice on the D major, two more times on the A major, and then on the E major, which is missing the G sharp. Okay, so here we go. Right hand, second finger on A. And now here, if you want, you can do the two grace notes, E, A, going to C sharp. <clears throat> so first finger, second finger, fourth finger, or you can just go right to the C sharp. So here is the easy version. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay? But I think you should try uh, and do the grace notes. It's really not that hard. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you repeat that grace note roll up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. This you already know. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you can do the options that we talked about before. You can do all the grace notes. You can do just the first grace note. Or you can do no grace notes. Okay? You already know this. So you've already made your choice, uh, pick one and go for it. And then first finger on B, we've done this before, and fifth finger on E. So let's see with counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Here we go, both hands on A, and they're gonna both play together at the same time. One, two, three, four. Now those two grace notes happen before the next beat one. One, two, lift on three, repeat on four, and then do the grace notes again. One, two, three, four. One, two, Play the notes um, at the same time. 
So left and right hand happens at the same time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From here, third finger in the right hand goes to D, left hand on A. just play the C sharp, okay? But here it is with the grace notes. One lift, three, four lift, one, two lift, three, four lift. And now left hand pinky goes down. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay? Let's do that much from the beginning of this part, maybe a little bit faster. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. grace notes okay so this is just uh, no grace notes at all if this is what you're choosing to do this is what it's gonna look like here we go Part four is exactly the same as part two. So whatever you did in part two, you do it here. Okay, this is the very last part of this piece. Very exciting. So left hand is repeating something that it already knows, which is great. It makes it so very easy. It's that roll up that starts on C sharp. You do that three times. except you're only going to bounce on that 8 twice and then repeat it okay so far we've been bouncing four times on the A in this last group you only bounce twice and then you do it again now from here you can do the low A then the high A and then the low A so three A's in a row or you can just stay three low A's that's your choice entirely. So let's do it with counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Right hand, first finger is on the high A. So you play A, one, two, three, four, one, two, on beat three, third finger goes to C sharp, three, four. Then you come back to the A, one, two, three, four, one, two, on beat three, fifth finger goes to E, three, four. Then you repeat the very first group. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. From here, go back to A. One, two, C sharp, third finger. 
three, four, back to A. One, two, the finger on E, three, four. Okay, so let's take it from the beginning of this section. You're basically playing three notes over and over. It's gonna be either A, C sharp, or E, and A is always every other note, <laughs> okay? So here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 From here, you're going to play that A three times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Easy, right? So remember, we're doing the roll up. One, two, three, four. 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 Now those three A's in a row, you can choose to stay down the whole time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Or you can switch it up like that. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's do it one more time from the beginning of this part, a little faster. One, two, three, four. That was it, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope that you had a good time learning this awesome piece. If you like this video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, what are you waiting for? Do it now. You can connect with me on my website. I have um, articles there that I write and some free downloads. Go check it out. It's slightly different than what you see here. Um, you can connect with me also on Facebook, The Piano Key, no S, or on Instagram. I take a lot of pictures of things that I see, which includes my chihuahuas. Um, the Piano Keys, TPK. All right, uh, look for the holiday music tutorials coming up. I have a new technique exercise video, which I definitely recommend that you do because it will make your fingers stronger and faster. And that way you'll be even better prepared to play all the pieces um, that you wanna play. All right, keep practicing, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye.